Welcome to the most exciting hour of professional wrestling, Dark Elevation. I'm your host, Paul White. Joining me is Daddy Magic. Let's go to the ring with our very own Dasha. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Ichigaya, Japan, Emi Sakura. Now this, Paul, is how you want to start your Monday night with the queen. Everybody get up. Queen well, looks a little upset the way she threw the crown and the robe there. Well, I mean, you know, maybe maybe she got her order for dinner wrong. You know, maybe. Who's in charge of that? That you? Who's in charge of that? Her opponents are in the ring. Rochelle Riveter. Rochelle Riveter, tremendous athlete, incredible condition. She's going to need all of that tonight against the queen because we know the queen has a royal bag of tricks. Well, he also said she's in a bad mood. Looked a little aggressive the way she tossed the crown. You know, so somebody, somebody got her Uber Eats order wrong. I don't know, that would sure upset me. <laughs> imagine if I ordered a burger and got like broccoli. Oh, can you imagine? No, I cannot. That's a nightmare waiting to happen. Oh, oh. Whoop. was that a good one? That was a thunderous backhand chop. Welcome to AEW Rochelle. Very proud of herself, the queen. I mean, there's a chop and then there's a thud. That was a thud. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, looks like Amy's in better spirits now. We're on the queen time here. Nice strike back by Rochelle Riveter. All right. Here we go. <laughs> yes! What's the timing, huh? Emmy just waited for Rochelle to turn around and open up after that face first in the turnbuckle. That's patience and timing. That's a veteran. Emmy no suck. need to rush. Emmy Sucker has got to be the hardest chopper in, in, in the women's division. Definitely. Right? No! Uh, I would say Emmy and Marina Shafir's got a heck of a chop, too. Nice form in the corner by Rochelle. Right, that was Rochelle. a European uppercut. Sure was. Get a little momentum. Jumping clothesline in the corner. She's stringing them together here. Nice little set. Cover. A lot of mistake that younger talent make. They don't put weight on those shoulders. And, and that's the whole idea, right? We're trying to hold the shoulders down to the mat. Right. You know? I think as you learn, get a little bit more experience, you know how important it is to keep weight on those shoulders, keep them pinned. Hooking a leg is important. That's a positive. Oh, turn around. Michelle took too much time there, got caught. Oh! Wow. Oh, yeah. There's your tea time, how Daddy Magic. Did you get the pinky up there, Paul? I didn't see it. I did see the pinky up, though, I believe. Wow, Emmy, oh. give, giving the business to the crowd here. Telling the crowd to zip it. I like it. Emmy, I'm not a fan of the uh, Phoenix, Arizona crowd, apparently. I'm with her. Looks like Emmy had a chance to put Rochelle down, but wanted to inflict more damage. Yeah, more chops, maybe. She's getting her workout in for the day, it looks like. Well, I guess when things are going your way, why not? Oh. She loves that. And that crossbody in the corner. You know, it's so impressive when she does that because you can just see how it blows the wind right out of her opponent's lungs. Nice scoop slam. Uh, here we go, Paul. She's going upstairs. I am the queen. Yes. Give it to him, Emmy. No. Great moonsault. Good night. The winner of this match, Emmy Sakura. To the point we talked about earlier. Notice on that cover, Emmy Sakura hooked the leg, but then laid her back across Rochelle's neck and shoulders, making it much more difficult to kick out. Though after that moonsault and that crush in the corner, it's I think, I think that's a lot to try to recover from. How about how about this new music for the Queen? Very uh, it's very sin ominous. sinister, sinister, sinister. Good huh? word. Hey, where are we? Elevation, Phoenix, Arizona, Monday night, the greatest hour in television. Oh, yeah. AEW fans, it's time for you to get in on the action with DraftKings. Just enter a free-to-play pool and answer questions about the match. Get enough correct to win your share of 25,000 in total prizes. Questions like, who will get the first oh. submission? And who will win the match? Just download the DraftKings app, enter the promo code, and join a free-to-play AEW pool. So get in on the action with DraftKings. Maybe 
It'll be who gets the chair. Up next on Elevation, a big time tag team match as the Kingdom with Maria Canellas Bennett are in action. Thy kingdom come. The following contest is a tag team match set for one ball with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied by Maria Canellas Bennett, the team of the trend, Matt David and Mike Bennett, the kingdom. You know, Daddy Magic. I forgot everything that Dasher said when I saw Maria Canales Bennett walk down the ramp. Yeah. I mean, there's style, and then there's pretty, and then there's that next level. She certainly got it together, no doubt about it. Good gracious. I mean, all three of them got it together. Oh, yeah, they're amazing talents, but, you know, Maria's just a show stealer. And their opponents are in the ring, the team of EJ Sparks and Aguila Aguirre. I'm gonna guess Aguila's the guy in the mask. I, I, I guess so, that would probably be a good good call. That, that feels very right? Jador-ish. I agree. There's, uh, you know, not that I wanna automatically assume, but I think in this case, it's safe to say. Gonna have their work cut out for them here against the Kingdom. Veteran tag team, been around a long time. Ring of Honor. Former Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions. Work very well together. Two good looking, experienced athletes. They're fantastic, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, that was a little bit of a trick play. That Ring of Honor handshake doesn't apply in this setup. Yeah, EJ fell for it. Yeah, that's just a veteran pulling out a wily trick. Could be a lack of experience for sure. Quick action here. Oh! That was a high drop kick and some pretty blue tights. That's a good color, blue. Blue. Is it blue or is it purple? I think it's purple. Hey, do we got to get your eyes checked? What are we doing? I don't know. I'm looking at my screen. It looks blue. When was the last time we saw the optometrist? You know, I do actually have an appointment Friday. Thank really? you for bringing it up. <laughs> don't expect my commentating to get better just because I can see. <laughs> oh, stop it. Oh, what a shot right there. Mike Bennett with that big spinning discus punch. Taking a bow. That's always a very hard punch for me to throw because it seems like you're Taking your eyes off your opponent. Oh, I know when the, I want the uh, the crowd to get behind me, I I do three or four bows. Re yeah. Really gets them going. Wow, just like you did in the opera, right? <laughs> or the theater. Boy, Mike is laying those big, hard, white hands in the chin. And they're really going to work on EJ's face. EJ right now is uh, in a lot of trouble. He's going to look here. Can you believe that this Melvin's in the way with Matt Taven? I can't believe it. You know, Matt likes to talk a little trash. I appreciate that. Well, yeah, you know, there's a time and a place. If you can get camera time, take it away and get it. But this, this is the problem when you do it. You, yeah, leave, you a, leave time for an opening. EJ Sparks with a great counter. That step over high kick showed some flexibility. There's the tag to the mask, man. Well, that was a pretty hot back drop. Aguila went flying on that one. You take that tag and you walk right into a high back body drop. No doubt about it. Did your tag partner do you a favor or not? Go! Nice. A little telegraph that double back drop looks like they were going for. Nice right. high single kick. All right, Matt's dude. Here we go. Aguila really extended that right foot right under Mike Bennett's chin. Sometimes that works better than two feet. I know I'm a drop kick aficionado. <laughs> Is that how you do it? Yes, that's how I that's how I do it. You know? Oh! Wow, nice insiguri off the rope there, right to the back of the head of Aguilar. There we wow. go. No, no more no more playing around here, huh? Now, looks like Mike Bennett's taking business pretty seriously. Man, these shots wow. from Bennett, I. Eh? Man, he really drops the hammer. They should call him Hammer Fist, Mike Bennett. Nicely done, the DVD. Oh! It's good. Bonsoir, mes amis. The winners of this match, the Kingdom. How about it? Make it short work. Well, Mike Bennett wants more cardio. He's running around the ring. I don't think he worked hard enough. He didn't get his steps in today. He's probably getting his steps in, yeah, absolutely. Cool. He's got his little watch on. High intensity. With 
Here's your winners tonight on Elevation. The Kingdom, here at Phoenix. Up next on Elevation, women's trios action. Nyla Rose, Marina Shafir, and Diamante with Vicky Guerrero ringside. The following contest is a trios match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied by Vicky Guerrero, the team of Diamante, the problem, Marina Shafir, and the native beast, Nyla Rose. Well, I tell you what, Daddy Magic, there is ominous vibes, bad things to come. When I see these three competitors walk down the ramp in the women's division, I know something bad's gonna happen in that game. Yeah, they mean business. My goodness, Diamante. Does Diamante fit in with these three or what? Absolutely, Diamante fits in. Diamante's a thug. Their opponents are in the ring. The team of Brittany Brooks, Miss May, and Maserati. As we take a look at the competition right there, but back to your point, Diamante, it's been a bit of a revolving door as the third member of this trio. Right, we've seen the Queen Emmy Sakura, now we see Diamante, but just by the looks of it, looks like Di Di the Diamante thing. fits the bill. Yeah, Diamante definitely fits the bill. Diamante's had a relationship with Vicky Guerrero for a long time. I'm sure that's part of Vicky Guerrero's recruiting. Here's Diamante back in, Marina Shafir. Look at that leg takedown, just twist the ankle. Nice cartwheel, and then kick the lungs out of Brittany's back. Oh. And kick him back into her back. See, Marina's got a little tape here around one of those uh, one of those feet. You're obsessed I with am. this feet. I mean, I, I just think she's an absolute psycho. Who doesn't wear shoes uh, when, when you're wrestling? Need shoes. Look at this. Well, I mean, to Marina Shafir's part, you know, if you can take it and get away with it, then do it. A little distract oh, there. Look at that. Look at the counter. Right away, collapse. Regain the knee. Now, now in an arm lock. Brittany Brooks is in an arm lock right now. You think you're going to pull a fast one on Marina Shafir? I don't think so. Look how smart Marina. She's dragging Brittany back to her corner. I mean, is Marina that's Shafir? Improvement. That's right. improvement for somebody that's not as experienced, but applying that MMA background to pro wrestling psychology and getting in the safe corner. Very I was, smart. I was just going to say, the, in the last year, is there anyone more improved on the female roster than Marina Shafir? I'm just saying the past few weeks, Marina Shafir has just showed us an entire another side, and she's working her way to the top, definitely. Sure is. As we see Diamante love that here. momentum. That's good coaching from Vicky Guerrero. Probably some good veteran leadership from Nyla Rose. They learn a lot from Diamante as well. You know, Diamante's not the biggest in the women's division, but she, Diamante always does a great job of representing herself. Oh, as you hear and that. then there's that. The crowd came alive there as Nyla Rose tagged in. You know, there's positive attitude, there's coaching, and then you run into a wall like Nyla Rose. Woo. Yeah, that, that'll change the complexion of a match real quick. Yeah, that's a lot of fun being the wall. You like that, huh? I like being the wall and watching other people splat. Oh, talk about splat! That's a driver. Wow. I mean, I'd get to a corner and make a tag here. Either that or get to a ripcord and pull the parachute and bail. Yeah, maybe just take a hike, take the 10 count, call yeah. it a day. Yeah, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. My spine's more, more important. Right? You got a life to live. Now, is that considered a tag? I don't know, but we're not playing around tonight. Nyla uh, seems to think it is. Is Bryce voting that as a tag? No. Oh, boy. Turn around. <laughs> is Miss May just <laughs> leaving? Yes, she's the smartest one of the bunch. I was only kidding about bailing. I, I wasn't. Oh. There's that DDT by Marina Shafir. Yeah, that's got to be it. Wow. You think we could get Marina the some socks this now? Match, the team of Diamante, Nyla Rose, and Marina Shafir. Here's what Diamante just brought to that finish. She circled around the ring, 
to cut off the opponent's ability to interfere with the finish that went down. Smart veteran, Maria Shafir, Nyla Rose working together. My goodness, Vicky Guerrero's team is looking unstoppable on elevation. That was quick, fast, efficient. Don't ask me to spell it. Phoenix, Arizona. On Sunday, March 5th. The main event is set. It's the generational talent. This belt does make me better than you, and you know it. Versus the American Dragon. This is the real test of if you're a true professional wrestler. In a 60-minute Iron Man match. The AEW World Championship on the line. You will never come close to holding that AEW Championship. AEW presents Revolution. Up next on Elevation, Powerhouse Hobbs. Saw that young man this morning in the gym pressing 365 behind the neck over the presses for reps. Impressive. His opponent are in the ring, Daniel Evans. I don't know about this chain, Mr. Evans. I don't know. Daniel Evans just looked over Powerhouse Hobbs and just realized how big he is. This is a dangerous man, Powerhouse Hobbs. Almost took him completely out of the ring. That's a smart advice. No! Just the anger that Powerhouse Hobbs exudes. But it's not done just to be angry. He's got a purpose behind everything he does. Oh! Good gracious. That I mean, about knocked the camera off the ring post. He gave the guy a shot. You know, you could leave. I guess. That's part of that mind games that Hobbs gets in his opponents. Oh. These thunderous clubs in the corner. Good luck! Oh, Lord! Woo. Phoenix is loving it! What's not to love? Here we go! Up and down! That's a spine buster! Wow! How impressive! is Powerhouse Hobbs. He's on a roll right now. Here we go. Oh, forget about it, ball. So quick, easy, and efficient. I love it. The winner of this match, Powerhouse Hobbs. You know, I always talk about pinning the shoulders, hooking the leg. Then there are times when you thoroughly eviscerate and destroy an opponent like that, you don't have to go through all that extra. They're done. Mr. Evans getting it. Getting close up and personal with the Book of Hobbs. I don't know if he'll remember it, though. I doubt it. Powerhouse Hobbs, this guy's feeling it, huh? He is on a roll, man. He's got a plan. It's in the book, and he's putting it in action. He's going to balance out. The ledger. Up next on Elevation, a six-man tag team match as Matt Hardy, Isaiah Cassidy, and Ethan Page are in action. Hold on, cut the music! Cut the music! On 
unbelievable. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, chill. Chill. This is a good thing. This is a good Shut thing. Up. I wanted to address something in front of the people and be honest with you guys. Matt, I am absolutely loving teaming with a legend like you. And even better, you have fully embraced me as your partner and friend, and I love it. I don't think Phoenix likes it. Guys, he's a little misunderstood, but I gotta tell you, I am having the time of my life. Yes! And everybody knows that I'm going to handle business on Donabite. Yes! But right here, right now, it is time to party in Phoenix! Yeah! yeah! You know what I'm happy for? The fact that that piece of garbage hook isn't here. Uh, here comes the party. Pooper. Enough about Hook. Let's be honest. Phoenix, they don't want to hear about it. What Phoenix wants to do is party hardy with Hardy Party. Yes. All right. So, Phoenix, if you want to party hardy, can I get a huh, yeah? Oh, yeah. The you didn't do it so well. You didn't give him the fire. You never will hear that noise come out of my mouth. <laughs> I love it. Ethan Page, Matt Hardy, Isaiah Cassidy, get the lawn. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you, Daddy Magic. Seems like they're firing all cylinders, but somehow it just turns my stomach a little bit on this inside. Look at these moves from Ethan Page. Their opponents are in the ring, the team of Ice Williams, Braxton, and Watson. Ice Williams, Braxton, and Watson going to take on the Hardy Party. The Hardy Party? I mean, these guys seem to be all on the same page here. Talking about Williams, Braxton, and Watson. I don't know. I've been around Matt Hardy a long time. This, this doesn't feel Matt Hardy-esque. They've been saying that for a couple weeks now. You, uh, this, I know Matt Hardy very well. This you smell a rat. It's not that I smell a rat, I just, I would think better of Matt Hardy. I don't know why you don't think he would get along with a guy like Ethan Page. Ethan Page, very likable, let me tell you. I disagree quite a bit. You know, I know he's Macedonian and good looking and thinks he's charming, but he's kind of like a rock in oh. your shoe. A rock in your shoe? Ethan Page. Uh, a little bit irritating, sometimes painful. Wow, that's a strong words, Paul. Yeah, we know my words get me in trouble. Here we go. Nice back double elbow. Here we go. Matt Hardy going for the cover there. I'm sure just to get his opponent to expend some energy. Yeah, why not see where we're at? See where we're at, see if we can blow the guy up. Fatigue makes cowards of us all. Sure does. Braxton with a big high dive in the corner. Matt Hardy in trouble deep in the corner. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Matt expected this here. Get in trouble this early in the contest. Braxton put on quite an onslaught on Matt Hardy. Big heavy haymakers. These guys came ready to go here. Step in the ring with Matt Hardy, you better be ready to go. You'll get deleted. Oh. There's that veteran Matt Hardy just waited. Let him come to the elbow. I love this here. Every buckle gets a, gets a kiss. It's like a three-course meal pump. Yeah, so you get, instead of getting the stuffing kicked out of you, you're eating the stuffing. Oh boy! Yeah. That rope right across the neck, the cable. Really jarring on the spine and neck. Look at this. No dissension here, Paul. I don't know what you're talking about, man. These guys are getting along, getting along real good. Well, by all appearances, you're absolutely right. I'm just telling you, my gut and knowing Matt Hardy. See that? The thumbs up, the big thumbs up, a smile from Matt. Listen, Matt Hardy is an intelligent businessman. That's all I'm going to say. He's one of the smartest business people I've ever met in this business. Big break of the ice here. Is that Watson coming in? Is that Watson? Yep, Watson coming in. Nice European uppercut. No! Oh! That was an impressive high boot by an all you go, Ethan Page. Wow. Braxton doesn't know what planet he's on. How about that right in the face? Good night. Double save. Here we go, all six men in the ring here. Ah, double side effects. Oh. 
And I want to see another big boot from Ethan Page. That was an impressive high boot. Was it ever? Here we go. Isaiah Cash is going up high. And we've seen these guys every week on Elevation. I've never seen them work this well together. They are working fantastic, that's for sure. They're gelling here, Paul. Twist oh. the face, Matt Hardy. Oh, big. my goodness. Good night. Good night. The winners of this match, the team of All Ego, Ethan Page, Isaiah Cassidy, and Matt Hardy. You know, I know that felt a little off kilter, but Matt Hardy is smart enough to know that his opponent was down longer than a three count, and why not put your money maker towards the hard count? He was done, no question about it. Look at that! Twist of fate. Nice enough of Ethan Page to let him do it, by the way. Devastated. That's the thing about veterans in the ring. They take their time and know where they are. There's your winners on elevation. Matt Hardy. Ethan Page, Isaiah Cassidy. Up next on Elevation, it's a Ring of Honor Women's Championship Eliminator match with a Ring of Honor champion, Athena. Camilla here. That's just the audacity of Athena. Like, <laughs> yes, Paul. I mean, there, it's literally no, nothing's off kilter. Nothing's barred for Athena right now. She literally can do whatever she wants. Yeah, there's no rules when it comes to Athena. Certainly not when it comes to these right hands. You'd expect a champion of that level to have more poise and control. Take it easy. Look at her. What she's doing is working for her. You know, Athena is just mad turned loose. I love it. You know, I'm really surprised she hasn't been fined yet, to be honest with you. You know, this is the kind of situation where you're putting all the other athletes at risk with this kind of, you know, <laughs> unnecessary oh, man. behavior. Man, she is the Mike Tyson of the women's division. Doesn't follow the rules, I can see that. I'll tell you, it's a couple weeks in a row now we've seen these Ring of Honor uh, eliminator for, for the women's title. Oh! <laughs> and nobody has been able to capitalize at all. Oh. Athena taking care of business. She is taking care of business, true, but the thing is, Athena has zero sportsmanship-like qualities or sportswomanship-like qualities when she competes. You are nothing! You, will never you hear that? She's nothing, Paul. It's psychological warfare, it's physical warfare, it's... Oh. Wow, right on the tailbone. That just jacks up the entire lower back. I and mean, I'll tell you this, though. You, you don't want to play around too much with Danielle. I've seen her a couple times. Danielle's and she's, she's feisty. She got jumped from no. the get-go. There you go. Moved out of the way one time too many times of the well for Athena. There you go. This is your chance, Danielle. But is that going to work out Danielle's Go. Oh. Got to get her in the ring, Danielle. I mean, Danielle can get nasty, too, I'll tell you. Oh, you can tell. Danielle's got a little temper here. She's ready to fight. Yep, absolutely. Nicely done. Big clothesline. Driving away all the way through, dropping to her knees. Nice float over neck breaker. Beautifully executed. Getting the people in Phoenix going here. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Right on the face, we got a cover! Ooh. 
That was close. I mean, Athena's a lot of trouble selling that knee. Kind of karma after what Athena did to Yuka Sakazaki. Absolutely. Smashing Yuka's knee between the steps of the ring post a few weeks ago here in elevation. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. That could be the closest we've seen Athena to getting pinned here. I don't since know she's anybody. Been on this I run. can't remember anyone that's got Athena a two countdown. Danielle going upstairs. High risk, high reward. Athena's got the ref, Mike Posey. Oh! Notice what Athena did right there. She saw at the side of her eye that Danielle was at the top. She positioned Mike Posey so Danielle couldn't attack and then hit the ropes and knocked her off the top. Smart. That's dangerous when you've got an opponent that can calculate like that in the ring. Wow. That's a whole nother level of deviance. Going upstairs herself here. How would that knee fare? Oh! <laughs> Good night! Wow! The winner of this match, the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena! Is there anything she can't do? Apparently not. It's so unpredictable and so dangerous with the Ring of Honor Women's Champion Athena right now. She doesn't follow any of the rules. Absolutely spectacular here tonight. Your Ring of Honor Women's Champion. Good luck dethroning her, huh? Nice to see Athena just going, oh, maybe I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. This is the stuff that's very, very tough to get behind the team as a champion. This after the bell, you know, this vicious my, attacks. This is just too much. This is my favorite part right here. I understand that. This is my favorite part. As a champion, you should be above this. <laughs> How do you like that, Danielle? That was the seal of approval by Athena. And the handshake. There it is, the coat of honor. Yeah, it's a left-handed handshake. A true sportsman. Not left-handed. That's just adding insult to serious injury. Now you're nitpicking. Just calling it like I see it, Daddy Magic. There's your winner, the Ring of Honor Women's Championship Eliminator match. Still unstoppable, Athena. AEW fans, it's time for you to get in on the action with DraftKings. Just enter a free-to-play pool and answer questions about the match. Get enough correct to win your share of 25,000 in total prizes. Questions like, who will get the first submission? And who will win the match? Just download the DraftKings app, enter the promo code, and join a free-to-play AEW pool. So get in on the action with DraftKings. Maybe it'll be who gets the chair. Up next on Elevation, it's your main event of the evening as Lee Johnson takes on Kanosuke to catch them. Main event time, Paul. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied by Cole Carter from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing 189 pounds, Lee Johnson. Big shot of Lee Johnson, tremendous young competitor, tremendous athlete. We've seen him grow quite a bit here on Elevation. I am happy to see uh, Cole Carter, subscriber of the Leather Jacket No Shirt Club. Yeah, that's a unique club. How about that, huh? Kind of a good looking guy, I have to say. His nipples are uh, pretty hard. You see? Yeah. Cole Carter. How about it? And his opponent from Osaka, Japan, weighing 232 pounds, Konosuke Takeshita! One of AEW's greatest import signings, I would say Takeshita, without a doubt. This guy is star talent material, and he's been on the rise here in AEW. What an ovation for Takeshita. Main event time, Paul. Elevation. Take a look 
Boy, Takes just got it all. Size, strength, athletic ability, great work ethic. I mean, plus the guy's just cool. Yeah, he's, he's confident. You can see it on his face. Yeah, that, that's a big thing when you're young. He's in a completely different country. If you follow him on Instagram and Twitter, you see he's learning new things, trying things for the first time. What an incredible time for Takeshita as his star is on the rise. Listen to this crowd here in Phoenix. The Takeshita chance is a big-time matchup here. Lee Johnson, Takeshita, main event. This ought to be fantastic. I'm super excited about it. I like the fact these guys are kind of feeling each other out a little bit. This isn't your normal hurry up and run and do it. Absolutely. We just got a shot there. The capacity crowd here in Phoenix. A little, uh, a little savvy on Big Shotty's part. Backing away to the corner. Trying to get into Kester's head a little bit. Hey, why not? Why don't you come to me, you know? Come Let's to me. I'm going to take my momentum. time over here. Control the momentum. I like it. Nothing wrong with those little head games like that. How's Cole Carter going to factor into this one? Referee Aubrey going to have an eye on him for sure. Nice clean break by Takeshita. See, that's the kind of thing I like to see. Good, just good clean breaks. Getting the work done without shortcuts. Nice leg trap. Good kick out. Here we go, exchanging here. Oh, oh, that's a kick out into a bridge. That's some athletic ability. Nice back elbow by Shotty Lee. Stiff right hand, catch his forehead. Not very often, uh, Lee Johnson doesn't have the advantage when it comes to speed. Oh! Or vertical lead. Unbelievable! Takesta covered half the ring off those ropes. You see the amount of speed that Takesta generates in such a quick amount of time. Such an impressive athlete. I could watch Takesta all day. Nicely done by Lee Johnson. Putting Lee the Johnson. brakes right there. Put the brakes on wide vertical base. Takesta grabbed the trunks. Come on back here. Kester, very wise, no injury at oh. all. Unfortunately, that cost him. Yeah, that little hiccup right there, that's all it takes sometimes. That little timing, that little hiccup that throws you out of rhythm. Absolutely. Big shot, he's smart enough to somehow work that into his playbook to his advantage. Right. Lee Johnson's a professional. You give him a second, he's going to capitalize, no doubt. Really just doing the work here, putting those stiff boots into Kester while he's in the corner, stepping on the throat and the chest. You know, when your back's pinned okay. against that turnbuckle, it's really hard to open your lungs and get your breath. Look at that right there. Aubrey with the finger right in Lee's face. Well, Aubrey's a very stern referee. He demands respect. Aubrey's not afraid to bounce somebody's ass right out of that ring. I, I don't know about this here, Lee. <laughs> well, I think Lee's feeling himself a little bit. Getting a little bump going. Getting a little bump. I think that might be a little bit of a mistake with a talent of Tequesta's caliber. I'm with you. I'm with you. I would have got to that chin lock right away, let me tell you. Harvey Sherrard in close on that rear naked choke. <laughs> Notice how the big shot he's got the form directly under Takeshi's chin. Really working. It's going to be hard for Takeshi to work his way out of this. Try to strike those ribs. Nice forearm shot. I think Takeshi uh, hurt one of his ribs there on, on, on that hard buckle. Could be. Seems like he hasn't quite fully recovered yet. He seems to be laboring for sure. And as I say that, of course. Of course. And he defies ground. Oh, oh. What a shot! Goodness gracious. Takesta just about decapitated. Poor big shoddy. Wow. Both men are down here. The amount of energy that Takesta had to exert to get that momentum, and it paid off. Did it ever. Phoenix Krause getting behind Takesta. Coming alive here. This just needs to pull it together and close out. Yeah. 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 Big high backdrop that'll buy Takesta a little bit of time. I think Takesta's going to fly here. What do you think? Cole Carter might want to get out of the way. Oh. Wow. Good call. Big Cole Carter took the big rough end of that heel kick. And that flip from Teske. Takesta. Takesta's feeling it. So is the crowd here in Phoenix. Watch this, Daddy Magic. Big high double flip. Unbelievable. The back of Takesta's right heel clunked poor Cole Carter right in the side of the head. 
That's the price you pay sometimes. Oh, God! The extension on that high boot by Sakesta. Going for another one! One more, Konosuke says. I don't know how many more Lee Johnson can take. Apparently not one more. He bailed out of that one. Yeah, he knew it. He knew it, too. Get your feet in the ropes. Get your feet in the ropes. Good try. Good attempt. Trying to seize an opportunity. Oh! There's that power of Takesha. He hooked him. Takesha's in trouble. Cover. This could be it. Boy, big shot he thought he had on that one. That was close. Yeah, he really shot his shot, didn't he? Really smart to close in quick, try to get that pinfall. Really frustrated right now. Needs to turn it up on Takesta. Yeah, just regroup, take a breather here. Takesta's in trouble. This would be a nice victory for Big Shot if he can pull it off. Get it together, regroup. Go back to it, though. Takesta making his way back up to his feet. <laughs> <laughs> Sit out, slam. Man, it's amazing how fast Takeshita is. Takeshita loves using that. Just use your opponent's momentum against him. If you got the strength to pick him up, and double the impact of the bump. For a guy as athletic and fast as Takeshita, it's a great move. Sizing him up here. Ooh. Great super kick by Shotty. Going for a vertical suplex, a counter. Got here. Double docks. Big running high knee by Takesha. Man. Both these guys are going at it and leaving nothing on the plate. They're giving us everything they got here tonight. Both of them trying to close out. Big swings. No! Oh! And that did it. One, two, three. Woo! Winner of this match, Konosuke Takeshita. I don't know if you're able to see that, Daddy Magic. But Kanoshka's knee connected so hard with Big Shotty's chin, I knew he was out as soon as it happened. Right on the money, and it was curtains for Lee Johnson. What a match. What a main event. Fantastic. Takeshita right there as we see it for the three count. Victorious. Kanoshka Takeshita, your main event winner tonight on Elevation. Thank you, everyone, for joining us in the most exciting hour in professional wrestling. I'm Paul White, and for Daddy Magic, thank you, and good night.